safe by accident, taking the luck out of safety. In this video, author Dr. Judy Agnew talks about improving safety by avoiding what seems like a necessary part of safety management, disciplining workers. Well, discipline is an important part of any safety system. The problem is it's overused in most organizations. It's overused because people don't understand behavior. So they look at what uh, they look at an accident and they are draw they draw the conclusion that the hourly employee has done something wrong and therefore the only way to deal with that and to stop that person from doing it is to use discipline. Many companies also believe if they use discipline for that individual that they're sending a good message to everybody else that this is not acceptable and therefore everybody will conform. Discipline is problematic because it rarely works the way most organizations think that it will work. Yes, it will, it will result in that individual not doing that behavior again, but usually you don't need to do that. If someone has had an accident because of their own behavior, they're not likely to do that behavior again anyway. The notion of sending a message to other people is flawed. The message that discipline sends in many cases is don't get caught. Do whatever you can to avoid being caught because then you too will be disciplined. So unfortunately it tends to drive everything underground. People cover up accidents, they cover up near misses out of fear. There's one particularly troubling undesirable side effect of using discipline. There are several side effects in using discipline that are very troublesome that most organizations don't recognize and don't plan for when they use discipline. It lowers morale, it decreases teamwork, decreases enthusiasm, decreases the willingness to be engaged and step up and volunteer. Most importantly, it causes people to cover up, to not report accidents, to not report near misses. So the, the, one of the things that leaders do in attempts to create a safe work environment is actually working completely against them and getting everybody to cover things up, not talk openly and honestly, which then prevents us from being able to create a safer workplace. Discipline destroys discretionary effort. Bottom line, people will not step up. They will not do things when no one's watching. They will do the bare minimum, just enough to get by, just enough to stay out of trouble. We're not saying discipline is never the answer. There are times and places where discipline is the right thing to do. It's really making a discrimination between a willful violation of a rule and someone doing something that others would do in those cir the same circumstances. In other words, someone doing something, trying to do a good job, doing what they, doing the best job they can in the, in the circumstances they're in. The challenge is where do we draw that line that says this is willful violation of a rule and this is someone who's just doing the best job they can do. Most organizations have the line, we believe, too far this way. There are very few circumstances in my experience where someone willfully violates a rule. There are some I've certainly you know, been aware of, of some. In those cases, discipline is the right thing to do. But don't jump to that conclusion. Make sure you understand first why the person's done what they've done. And very often if you do that using the science of behavior, you're going to discover that it's not willful violation. It's somebody doing the best job they can do. Safe by accident, taking the luck out of safety. For more from Dr. Judy Agnew and Aubrey Daniels and to purchase the book Safe by Accident, visit the website safebyaccident.com.